Broadcasting live from the only establishment in town that can't kick him out. His own basement. The world according to Rocket. Oh yeah, it is I, Rocket Man. And this is The World According to Rocket. This episode is brought to you by LuxuryTravelNashville.com. Won't you visit them for all your luxury travel needs, whether you're going around the world or you're just going around the corner? LuxuryTravelNashville.com. Just call Deb. Hey, it's the 123rd rivalry meeting between the Black Knights and the Midshipmen. And, man, it's going to be a spectacle. Look at these uniforms, man. This is awesome. Uh, they, they always bring it with the uniforms, particularly lately, past decade or so. And NASA's, uh, Navy's got the NASA thing going on, the NASA helmets, and a spacewalk theme. And uh, here's the desert rats over here crawling around on the beach, storming the beaches. It's going to be, it's going to be fun. I, I always love to watch this game. So let's get to it. Let's look at the numbers. It's the big boss daddy college football computer. Uh, right over here. It says so. It wouldn't lie to me. I know. It's the Army-Navy game, 123rd version of this rivalry. Uh, and it's, uh, it's going to be fun. If for nothing else, just, just for the uniforms. The uniforms are so cool today. I can't stand it. Uh, if you haven't seen them. They're, they're, they're awesome. Uh, Navy's got a NASA thing going on. Uh, Army's got a Storm the Beach thing going on. It, it'll, I always I always love watching the Army-Navy game. I, my daddy was a, was a Navy man. And I remember that at, from a, being a wee, wee lad, man. We would watch that Army-Navy game without fail. Army-Navy in Tennessee. That's what we would watch. All right, here we go. Uh, Army should be, based on uh, the power rating, a point favored. All right. As they opened up as a six and a half point favorite. Hmm, interesting. <clears throat> it immediately flipped to Navy being a two and a half point favorite. That's even more interesting, -er, if that's a word. Navy has the advantage in the strength of schedule department that ranks 74th. And 74th toughest schedule, while well, Army has the 120th out of 131 toughest schedule. Um, get to this little ditty in a minute. The big boss daddy college football computer spits out a score of 26 points. He wrote a 24.9. So I'm going to make that more of a football score and go, it's going to be somewhere like this. According to the computer, Right? I just read and, and analyze this thing. I'm not saying this is what's going to happen. I'm saying this is what the computer says is going to happen. Okay. So we're looking at Navy, the winner, 27-24, according to the Big Boss Daddy College Football Computer. And I think that's kind of right. It's kind of close. It's going to be a close game. When I look at their common opponent, which was Air Force, they both, both lost. Uh... Navy lost 13 to 10. They lost lesser. <laughs> if you're new to this channel, a couple things. Please subscribe. And number two, I make up words as I go along as I need them because I just enjoy doing that. Anyway, uh, Navy loses 13 to 10 in that game. And Air Force, uh, I mean, Army loses 13 to 7. And when I look at the offensive stats comparison... They're really all kind of even here, right? So, I mean, there's no real getting blown away by anything. And, and same, same for, um, for on the defensive side of the ball. But here is something that is interesting to me. When I, uh, I just started doing this Big Boss Daddy computer thing this year after being away from it for quite a while and this is what I have found here's offensive and defensive efficiencies and whenever I see this configuration 
to where the defensive efficiency is stronger than the offensive efficiency. And the reverse is the case for the opponent. Most of the time, this guy right here in the green, which is Navy, is going to win the game. That's just what I have observed. I can't say that for a fact. I'm just telling you, that's what it looks like to me. So this score makes sense. This Vegas line makes sense. And this really makes sense because, well, because it's a big boss daddy college football computer. Navy wins. Hey, I thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, trying to get to 2,000 subscribers by my birthday, December 23rd. I hope you'll help me out. So don't really have a dog in this, uh, in this fight. I have, uh, I have Navy friends. I have Army friends. But for my good old pops, Marion Houston Phillips, God love you. God bless you. High on that mountain, sir. And go Navy, beat Army. Yeah.